Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we're going to be looking at the mystery Pokemon box. What could possibly be inside this box? Uh, actually, I happen to already know what's inside the box because I got it for Christmas. Uh, it was a present for me, and so I've already um, seen the inside, but it's such a cool box. It's got these like flappy bits on it. Um, that I thought I would show you what's inside the contents of the box. Now, I'm not actually sure if it comes from the Pokemon Center. Um, I think it probably does. Um, also, I'm not really sure who makes it. It's called The King of Games. I think this is the company that makes this product. Um, but uh, with an English title like that, it, who knows? It could actually be a Western company. I'm not 100% certain. There are plenty of Japanese words all over it, so it's probably a Japanese product. Um, in any case, it does, is quite cool. Um, and I did get it for Christmas. Let's jump straight in and unbox it. So you can see what's inside the mystery box. All right, so I have my Pokemon mystery box here. You can see it's a very exciting looking box. It says Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, it says Pocket Monsters here on the side, which is what we call Pokemon in Japan. Um, on the front, obviously, it has these strange flappy bits. And basically, uh, if you t pick them up like this, you can see uh, it says, hello here on the uh, front of the box and it's got the silhouettes of various Pokemon and then on this side what does it say? It's, ah, it says thank you um, and again more silhouettes of various different Pokemon there. Basically I'm gonna go, go straight in and open it up. It looks like you pull on the tabs like this to get it open and then to actually get the, the um, two sides to open you actually have to like go past each other, slide them apart like this and then it opens up like so, which is very, very cool. Look at that. And I have opened it upside down. It is an item of clothing, Pokemon clothing. It's got a very cool little tag here with a sort of bitmap, bitmap, uh, pixely art, um, Pokeball here. It's got the prints of the Pokemon silhouettes here on the inside. And on the front of the t-shirt, it says Route 17. Now, I haven't played the original Pokemon game for a long time, but I presume that Route 17 has something to do with uh, where you get the bicycle uh, in the original Pokemon game. On the inside here, there is a kid on a bicycle. Uh, I don't know uh, what the relevance of him is, but he's hidden inside. Oh, hang on a minute. Is there another one? Oh, there's another one in here. What's this? What? What? is this um this uh oh it says king of games okay so this is the company that makes the t-shirt i'm not really sure what the sign is for oh ha huh? hey there's more there's more in here hang on it says uh hey it says king of games one point uh, no one point <laughs> hang on what's going on here this is very strange one point t one one point t i have no idea what that is about. Nothing special, I think, here on the front of the uh, bottom of the t-shirt, but on the side you can see there is a blue and white and black stripe. Go faster stripes, that's quite cool. I presume that's what inspired that design decision there. On the bottom of the t-shirt, so right, um, right in the corner, it says, we're bikers, highway stars, not sure what the relevance is that do they ever say that in the game or something because I don't I honestly don't remember any of this um, presumably uh, there was an enemy that you would fight on a bike uh, but I love, I love this icon the sort of bidding I think that's what happens when a trainer sees you and they want to initiate a battle as um, a little bit of texture to it so that does make me wonder if maybe it will rub off if you wash it a lot um, so I'm not sure how sturdy it is but generally official Pokemon products tend to be very high quality, so I'm not too worried about that. That's a Mewtwo, what's that, a Dratini, um, I don't know, uh, Geodude, Machamp, um, what is this monkey one? I honestly can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, plenty, uh, is that Pikachu? Uh, no, it looks a bit like, it looks like a bit of a weird Pikachu. It looks like a bat with a, with a tail, which it, actually it probably is. If that's Butterfree, it's my, it's one of my favorite Pokemons actually. I'm very, oh, I said Pokemons. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. On the inside of the t-shirt, you can see it is 100% cotton, made in Japan, which is quite nice. Um, Japanese made products do tend to be very expensive actually. 
especially because uh, manufacturing them here, just the costs are much higher than sending them um, to another country. But that's quite cool to have um, clothing that's made in Japan. I don't have a lot of it. Um, the King of Games com apparently that is the company that makes this uh, t-shirt and um, what is this it says the king of games and pocket monsters it is one Pokemon at uh, one point T route 17 uh, I honestly again I really don't know what the significance of that is that um, it comes in various different sizes the cost is six thousand eight hundred yen so this is a 60 uh, about $65 t-shirt, so it is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it says, wear Bikers Highway Stars, bike printo design. <laughs> bike print design, um, I guess that's part of the feature. Look, if you zoom in really, really carefully, apparently the stitching actually looks very, very pixely, which is quite cool. I obviously have this white one here, apparently there's a grey one as well. And here on the back, it looks like there's another t-shirt, but it's got what is that? Pikachu on a surfboard? Um, wow! Look at that! I would love to have that one. It says Ariel on the um, pocket, and it's got it's got Pikachu actually surfing. That is very very cool. Uh, let's have a look. It's the same price as the other T-shirt, and uh, what does this say? Wanna go surf? Um, yeah, I'd love to go surfing. Edit mode official site donite hey Hatsubaichu, oh sorry, I was reading it wrong, Hatsubaichu, so um, if you go to the official edit mode site, you can actually buy these t-shirts um, for the grand total of about $65, it's one point and then T for t-shirt, oh I see, I see, great, so I'm gonna put this down, and let's see what else is inside the box, the game that has ruled the world of games, the game of all games, the king of games, Wow, these people are just game obsessed. Great, they are clearly ready to sell this t-shirt all over the world because they've got the instructions in English, which is more than we can say for a lot of actual Japanese games. This t-shirt has better instructions than most games. And look at the inside of this box. This is very, very cool. For all the people who loves Pokemon, Pocket Monsters, I think they wanted to not have the S on the loves there, but hey, let's not complain too much. I wonder how many Pokemon are actually on here, there's quite a lot. Doesn't look like 150 to me, but there's certainly um, a very good number of Pokemon here on the inside of this box. Sturdy, top stitched neck seam, okay, sturdy, narrow rib knit crew neck. Open hemmed cuff and double needle cover stitching. Wow, this is clearly a very high quality t-shirt. Not too roomy for perfect fit every time. Wow, great. Um, I think it's supposed to fit better than it probably does. I think it is a little bit too big for me. Hemmed bottom double needle cover stitching. And I'm not really sure what these icons are all about. It's got a Pikachu icon, t-shirt, Pokeball, a crown, a Game Boy. I think that says don't tumble dry it. What does this say? It says it's okay in 30 or 40 celsius water uh, let's see uh, i don't know maybe that says don't iron it i don't know it says don't squ uh, twist it like that maybe that's um to protect the print from getting damaged uh what's all this don't know what that is that's a cube in the sun the number six uh i don't know uh, a floating cube maybe you can levitate that an umbrella and uh a shoe smashing a brick this looks like what you do in karate class you have to break the boards to um grade up to the next belt brilliant it's actually a very cool box and um i will definitely keep it actually because um you can you could definitely use this to house your games or something it's nice to have a t-shirt that's not too in your face um, when you have gaming t-shirts, there's often like a Super Famicom right in the middle. Um, but it's good to have these ones that are just a little bit subtle. People who like Pokemon uh, or played it when they were kids will recognize these icons. Alright, that's all I have to show you. Just wanted to basically unbox this and just see, you know, what it looks like on the inside. It has got a really cool pattern on the inside of the box, plus a very unique way of opening. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Very excited about the box, but obviously also got a great t-shirt out of it and it's nice and subtle it's not too in your face like I'm a gamer um, which is which is fine as well um, but it's nice to have these subtle t-shirts as well now if you 
are interested in these t-shirts, apparently they are available from this site. Um, I've never been to the site, I'm not affiliated with them, so I'm not going to try and sell it to you. Um, but it looks like this is the website here, editmode.jp, and they go for the price of about $65. Um, I might very much consider um, going and getting one of these Surfing Pikachu t-shirts. They are very, very, very cool. Um, but yeah, for now, that's all I want to show you. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share all the links and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. This is called a kotatsu. Repeat after me, kotatsu. Your finger, your fingertips will get really, really cold. Oh, feels nice and warm. It's really, really good. Happy New Year! Key making with Nihongo Gamer. You, uh, you see something new every day.